four. Bottom of the fourth score tied at two. It's Andrew Jones off Rick Reed. Number 31 on the year for Jones. Braves lead at 4-2. Reed give up two homers Friday, 10 in 25 innings in the month of September. Braves up 5-3 now. The Mets load the bases with two outs in the six. Mike Piazza up there. Dennis Martinez on the hill, and he gets Piazza looking. Piazza two for four in the game. Braves keep the two-run lead. Top of the eighth, two Mets on, two outs. Jay Payton pinch running at first. Piazza on deck. John Olerud, it's the only hit of the game. He was one for three. Mike Kincaid scores. Payton trying to go to third. Andrew Jones says, how dare you? Mets cut the lead to one, but Piazza doesn't get his chance to hit. In the ninth now, Mets down 6-5. Two outs, man on third. John Rocker in there, and he gets Todd Pratt swinging. Rocker, bump, picks up a second save as the Mets blow a golden opportunity to move into the wild card lead. 6-5 Atlanta, the final. New York stranded 12 runners in the game. They let the Giants could move into a tie with the Mets and Cubs. Bottom of the fifth, 3-2 Giants, two on, two out. Dante Bichette. The liner to right, Joe Carter can't get there. Kurt Abbott scores. On Bichette's only hit of the game, that ties it at three. Next better, Vinny Castilla. Rich Aurelia, the nice play. Has no play, though, on the runner. Nephew Perez scores. 4-3 Rockies. Castilla one for five. The next batter, Todd Helton, grounded his second. Jeff Kent, his 20th error of the season. And then he allows the runner to score from third when he looked to first. 5-3 Rockies. Giants coming apart. Top of the sixth. Aurelia, the single to left, brings home Armando Rios. That ties it at five. A mere three batters later. That's Dave Wainhouse in there with the bases loaded. And he walks Joe Carter. Marvin Bernard scores. It's 6-5. Giants and the Boo Birds are out in force in Colorado. Top of the seventh. Aurelia again coming through. Fourth hit of the night brings home Stan Javier. 7-5. Giants, 14 of their 15 hits in the game were singles. Bottom of the ninth, Aurelia doing it with the glove as well as he... Robs Dante Bichette there. The Giants just keep on winning. Eight to six is the final. It was San Fran's fifth straight win. And a lot Chicago and Houston at the Astrodome. Sammy getting ready. And there's Brown starting after his infamous air. Bottom of the second, 2-1 Astros. And all of a sudden, a Hitchcock movie broke out. There was a bird in the dome. It was going after Brown. Both survived. Top of the fourth, 2-1 Strohs. It's Sammy against Jose Lima. And Sammy Sosa has no boundaries. Number 66, upper deck job, 462 feet, ties the game at two. Sammy in front in the home run chase for just the second time all year. 157 RBI for him, fourth most in NL history. Bottom five with Brad Osmus on third, Jose Lima, shallow fly ball. Osmus tagging, Tyler Houston Newby. Drops the ball, Osmus is safe, it's 4-2 Strohs. Top six, same score, Mickey Morandini. The liner to right, Derek Bell, great dive and catch. Morandini 0 for 3 in the game. The replay confirms what we already suspected. It was a nice catch. Bell also homered in the ballgame. Bottom 6, 5, two strokes. Carl Everett, who left six batters on in the game. Lining one to left, Brown atoning. The nice running catch. Runner on third tax at 6, 2 strokes. And Jim Regelman assuming the position. The Cubs continue to struggle, falling for the fifth time in six games. Mark McGuire, his second at bat after a walk in the first, hits it on the button, but it's only warning track power and a long out. Bottom of the fifth, game tied at two. McGuire up against Shane Bennett. And the first pitch he sees is crushed to left. The only question is fair or foul. Mack doing his best Carlton Fisk. It's foul. Watch the replay. It's kind of tough to see. After the spot shadow, the ball bounces up into the stands and is clearly a foul ball. McGuire thinking, man, I really killed that, didn't I? And then four pitches later. Comes to the belt. Comes to the plate. Swing, a high fly ball to left. There is 66. 66, one for the road. Highway 66. Jack Buck with the call. Mac number 66 on a 1-2 pitch, 375 feet to left. About 45 minutes after Sosa hit number 66. Let's all watch it again. Turning on the inside fastball, he got every little bit of it, and he knew it. Cardinals go up 4-2, and come on out and take a bow. Setting another record, tying a record, actually, with 34 home runs at home at Bush Stadium. The Cardinals hold on to win by a final of 6-5. and more. The A's and Miguel Tejada on the bottom of the second, driving one to right. He tattooed it off the top of the wall. The fireworks go off. Is it a home run or not?
It was called a double. Art Howe out to argue it. Watch it again over the scoreboard and hitting the Yahoo billboard. And the call was changed to a home run. That's correct. It's 2 nothing A's. To the top of the fourth, Kenny Rogers trying to go 11-0 at home this season, getting Tim Salmon swinging. Rogers had six strikeouts on the evening. Bottom five now 4-2. Ben Grieve up with two on, getting every single bit of it. Not even Jim Edmonds can get to that one. Bip Roberts scores. Jason Giambi scores. Ben Grieve. He's no blockhead. Good Grieve. The A's go up 6-2. Tim Salmon and the Angels but not going to the playoffs in 1998 as the A's win it 7-2 and the A West for Texas and he got shelled. Bottom third, 3-0 Seattle, Loiza. Facing Edgar Martinez over the head of Gonzalez. Ken Griffey scores, double for Edgar. 4-0 Seattle and Esteban not terribly happy on Friday. Didn't get through four innings. Bottom six, oh darn it. He knew it, you knew it, we all knew it. Junior, 56 on the year. Deep to right, 11-0, Seattle leading. Top of the night, 15-4, Seattle. But the Rangers find out that Anaheim lost, and they start celebrating. Meanwhile, back on the field, the game is still on. Domingo Cedeno, the game ending, 4-6-3, double play. Let's party, we lost 15-4. But Johnny Oates can celebrate because it is indeed the second AL West title in three years for Texas, and the players never seen a team losing by 11 runs and partying quite like that. Say what you will about McGuire and Sosa, and we've said plenty. On one nothing Twins, Dwight Gooden facing Chris Latham, who rockets one to right. Denny Hawking rounding third. Manny Ramirez trying to get him, but watch Latham's bat. Still in the field of play, and the throw hits it clean. Ricochets into foul territory. Latham goes to third on the error. It's 2 nothing Minnesota. Bottom nine, score tied at four. Bases juiced, a 3-2 count for Doug Mitkevich. And by doing absolutely nothing, he gets an RBI. Paul Shuey walks him. Otis Nixon crosses home for the winning run. And the Indians go down 5-4, to four, their fifth consecutive loss. And they get lucky. They lose their fifth straight game, but ever in an AL season. Taking on the Devil Rays. Bottom of the first, Derek Jeter ripping one down the left field line. Jeter two for four, the first Yankee shortstop since Phil Rizzuto to get 200 hits in his season. Two batters later, it's Bernie Williams slapping one to left, bringing home Jeter. Williams two for two with two walks on the day. Yanks take a 1-0 lead. Top of the nine, 6-1 Yankees, two outs. Mariano Rivera in there. Not a save situation, but he get, does get Aaron Ledesma to end the game. And that's number 112 for the Yankees. Winning this one 6-1 and improving to 112 and 48 on the... Boston resting most of its regulars, but not Mo Vaughn, who's in the hunt for a batting title. Bottom of the first, Mo taking Chris Fossil, who's making just his second major league start deep. 39th homer of the year for Mo. He has a 14-game hitting streak. It's 2-0 Bo Sox. Top 5, 4-2 Red Sox. Tim Wakefield gets Jerry Hairston Jr. on a 5 Ks for Wakefield. Pitched six innings. He's given up six hits and two earned runs. Bottom 8, 7-2 Red Sox. Mo. A shot to center off Rocky Coppinger. Double for Vaughn. His 31st double of the year. Red Sox winning 8-3. 50 wins at Fenway this season. Most since they won 50. Jim Brown making his last start before the playoffs, pitching well in limited action against Jay Bell in the first ground ball. Matt Williams in the third ground ball. Kareem Garcia at the plate in the fourth ground ball. Five innings for Brown, five hits, two earned runs, and nine ground ball outs. That's pretty good. Bottom of the ninth, game tied. Yamil Benitez pinch hitting with 2-1 against Randy Myers. <laughs> Into the desert night. Way out and left. Ninth home run of the season as the Diamondbacks win by a final of 6-3. to three. It is the 11th consecutive game in which the Diamondbacks scores up 1-0. Brad Woodall on the hill against Mark grudes Atlantic with one on and two out. grudes Atlantic got all that bullfrog. To left field, it's gone. His 10th on the year. Dodgers up 2-1. to one. Top of the eighth. Brewers threatening. The bases loaded for pinch hitter Brian Banks. And Ishmael Valdez gets him swinging. Dodgers beat the Brewers by a final of 3-2. to two. And Valdez going eight innings in the...